Michael Vick, Bleacher Report, Vick documentary. We're gonna do a quick recap of that one. It was a five-parter. Tried the boys, tried to uh, swagger jack that ESPN OJ. I see you, I see you Bleacher Report. But nah, y'all did a good job with it. Did a very good job with it. Um, huge Michael Vick fan. Huge, 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 huge. Donald Trump boys, huge Michael Vick fan. Uh, one of the most talented football players I've ever seen. In fact, some of my earliest memories, some of my, mo my earliest vivid memories of college football was, was, was Warwick on that? I don't know, I'm in the car right now, but I remember that national championship game when it was on Virginia Tech, and I just remember Michael Vick was just so fly. He was like, what, six feet, super fast, super cold, Legend, legend, legend. Paved the way for some of my favorite players, a la Russell Wilson, Vince Young, Cam Newton, etc., etc. Really good to see him redeem himself in the second part of his career, post, uh, I guess, where he left Kansas, Leavenworth, whatever the fuck. Um, man. Vic, Vic, Vic. Uh, Ron Mexico. Um, I'm a huge Vic fan. I love all the guy. What he's was it from Virginia Beach, Newport News, Aaron Brooks, Ronald Curry, AI, Pharrell, The Clips. So much talent. Wasn't it like Teddy Riley and Timberland from there? Fucking is Missy Elliott from there? It was like oh my god. I think all of them from like that general area. Like damn. So much talent. Marcus Vick, shit, his brother was cold. Um, little tidbits of the piece. Uh, I really like the, the stuff with his high school coach and just seeing like how, you know, you, I, I knew that Ronald Curry was a, was a highly touted prospect. I think what Ronald Curry played quarterback and like point guard at North Carolina or something. And I don't remember, he ended up playing like wide receiver for the Raiders, I, I think. But, um, man, Vic, and, and so, and Vic was, like, the number two guy, not necessarily number two, it was just, he wasn't, like, the guy, niggas was all on Ronald Curry at the time, that was cool to see, I didn't know that, um, and then just getting deeper in the case, because that happened so long ago, and, you know what I mean, I was, like, what, seventh, eighth grade, maybe even freshman year of high school, I don't even remember how long ago the whole Vic situation was, the investigation, and everything, I don't remember names, I don't remember, like, how his homeboys kind of turn coat on them. Watch your homies, man. These niggas don't really fuck with you. You know you're the fucked up, right, huh? You know you, you know your homies are fucked up, right? No, they come and get you. Them homies fold like lawn chairs. Um, but Vic bounced back. I, it was cool to see the Donovan McNabb stuff. Really cool to see the McNabb stuff. I didn't know that he was leaning towards Syracuse, and that was like a possible, he was might have gone to Syracuse. That was cool. Um, that was really cool. Uh, but you can see, like, damn, McNabb was there at the time. McNabb is super cold. McNabb had a great career of his own. So, yeah, I, I yeah went to VTech, balled out on him. I'm one picking a draft. Cheat code on Madden. Then he deals with this dog fighting case and all that adversity. I really appreciated how Aaron Brooks and Michael Wilbon stood up for just like how in Southern culture that that shit is just like exists. You know what I mean? Like that's just some shit that niggas own. Like niggas fucking, you know what I mean? Niggas drink Code 45 and play dominoes. You know what I mean? Niggas dog fight in the hood. Niggas whatever. Candy paint slabs, niggas, whatever. Like, that's just some some whatever from where he from. That's just the type of shit he is. So it's like white people got their culture. You know what I mean? Islamic people have their culture. Jewish people have culture. Black people have culture. So, like, you know what I mean? The just like, oh, the barbaric nature or just like, oh, demonizing him. That shit was like, you know, chill on that shit. Like, yes, this was wrong. But on the other hand, the, the ESPN investigative reporter lady who sort of equated it to child abuse, I definitely got that argument as well. You cannot take advantage of this animal, you know what I mean, and do that, that is just looked at as the same as child abuse, so I totally get it. Not making any type of excuse for Vic or whatever. He did the crime, he did the time, 
He bounced back, balled out with the Eagles. Shout out to the Eagles, Andy Reid. The Walrus gave him a shot. Um, shit, I think he still played for the Steelers. And nigga got some good minutes with the Steelers. Uh, he ain't do nothing for me on my fantasy team, but uh, that's another story. But uh, yeah, man, check it out. Bleach Report, five parts. Some of them is like six, seven minutes. Some of them like eight minutes. Some like 15 minutes. Uh, five parts. Check it out. They did a good job with that. Shout out to Michael Vick. Huge Michael Vick fan. Much success. Much love. Bleach Report did their thing. All right. Peace. Remains are found when the best kept secret get heated. You went platinum with a ghostwriter, so in the game you won, you cheated. My slang bang, you need it. Man enough to pull a gun, be man enough to squeeze it. Damn, if you don't believe it. Anything to do with millions, I'ma be with it. Hats off to the hardcore niggas, fuck the rest. But my guess, y'all useless, just talking music. Never mistake me for a fake MC, you got the wrong identity. Nigga, I'm CT. Get murdered in a second in first degree. Come to me with faggot tendencies, you'll be sleeping with a maggots beat. Ain't nothing kind of used to beef, actually. But when it's on, I raise first automatically.